Hello everybody, Bastos Fang here, and welcome back to Anime Thighs the Game. If you remember last time, we had some struggles fighting a boss, well technical difficulties, but also some actual fighting struggles. Um, and 9S is nowhere to be found, so that is our current mission, and we need to figure out where to go next. Actually, I don't need to figure out where to go next, because I remember where to go next, I have to go to the resistance camp. And apparently, I can't just go straight to the resistance camp, so it looks like we're taking the long way there. That probably means some exciting story event is going to happen, and I am ready for it. Hello, who is it? Ah, that explains a lot. Um, is this a side mission or is this related? I mean, it's related, but... Well, if I encounter them, I will. So I'm guessing the one at the resistance camp then is broken. And that's why I couldn't fast travel there. That's okay, I don't really like fast travel. I mean, some games dictate it. And there are some instances in this game where you definitely want to fast travel. Uh, but, I don't know, I kind of like traveling from place to place. Uh, and, you know, getting a feel for the world and... You know, pick up some experience on the way too. I mean... Theoretically, if you just fast travel everywhere, you're not getting all the experience you can get. And heck, how many times in this game have I, like, been like, I'm gonna go do this, and then get distracted by three things on the way there. Hello, what's wrong with this access point? Sorry, this terminal is out of order right now. Well, that is awfully plot convenient. Oh, hello. I saw you two in the background earlier. I haven't actually spoken to you yet, but you have red hair, which sets you apart from every other android in the game. Okay, good talk. Hey, Anemonemonemony, I need a favor. Ah, is it the red haired twins? I did try talking to them, they weren't very talkative. Yes. Okay. I'm not curious about that at all. All right. All right, you two, fess up. What secrets you got? Ah, Devola. I need a scanner. Oh yeah, just tinkering with it. Oh, it's a chip. How much space does it take up? Because I am trying to max my space here. To be, you seem kind of bored. Well, I mean, it doesn't make us friends, but you're also just super willing to help me out, apparently. All right. Oh, it's a pod program. So that means we should just be able to come over to skills, pod programs, Gatling, and scanner. Emits ultrasonic waves to scan the surroundings in search of hidden items. Ow! Neat. So just hold it down? Oh, okay, I hold it down and... Walk around with it? And what, it yells at me if it finds something? Well, I guess we'll find out. What kind of response? How... Does it tell me where things are? It's, I'm not getting any information here. Oh, wait, it beeps faster? Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, you can't even see it unless it's being scanned. Ah, clever. Well, it's a crystal, it's not a... But I was just in the flooded region. Is this fast travel point? Well, can you stop talking now? I'm trying to talk. Ha! Rejected. So anyway, does that mean that this fast travel point has been, or access point is the technical term, I suppose, has that been repaired? Can I use it now? 
Like, could I get back to the flooded area? Well, shoot. Well, fortunately for me, it's not actually that far to get to the flooded area. Oop, right here. If you know where you're going, go away, Emil. If you know where you're going, it's a pretty quick jog, so I will talk to you when I get there. Have no fear, the corpse retrieval team is here. Let's see if we can find some dead bodies. Over here, aha, secret item. A black pearl. Ooh, are we gonna meet Captain Jack Sparrow? What you got for me, boy? Aha, something down here. Oh, well, it's a dead body. Oh, it's a weapon. Iron Will. I wonder what that is. Excuse me, did you drop this? Oh, hey, she's alive. All right, so the Iron Will is a colossal iron blade. Let us try that as our secondary weapon, just to see what it does. Oh, it's big. Well, that's something. Oh my goodness, it is slow. Is there any good combos? Like if I do slash slash and more slash and that's a little more fun. And then it stays behind. That's kind of fun actually that it sticks in the ground and then rematerializes. What about any sort of jumping attack? Eh, I still think I like the spear better. It's almost like looking in a mirror. Hey, you're not dead. No response. Well, limited functionality detected in black box. So she's still alive. Contact the bunker. Affirmative. Well, she is pretty much dead if she's unresponsive. I'm getting readings of some kind. Is there anything nearby? It's not revealing anything. In the bus? Oh, hold on. Hello. What's going on over here? Oh, well. You're not 9S. I don't know. I contacted the bunker a long time ago for some of these people, and they're still lying on the ground, so... Ah, do you have information on Ines? Well, I'd imagine it was a big explosion. I mean, your guess doesn't do me that much good. I mean, for the game purposes, I'm sure it's going to do me just a lot of good, but in real life, I don't think your prediction is going to be that accurate. So I need to go somewhere near the City Ruins cave access point. That gives me, you know, something to go off of. Let me see if I can fast travel there if that's another one that's uh, closed off. I would not be surprised if that's another closed off access point, but we'll see. Surprisingly, the cave access point is still active, so we can head on over there. Loading screen, loading screen, does whatever a loading screen does. It takes its time to load things, that's why it's a loading screen. Look out, here comes a loading screen. Well, I haven't been in here in a while. Oh, hello. You guys had glowing red eyes and it slightly startled me, but only slightly. There are crucified dead androids down here, which is not helping my day at all, because I've already seen a lot of dead androids today. But I have a feeling that Adam and Eve have been quite busy, unless it was a two, but this seems like the work of Adam and Eve. Ugh, this is creepy. Where's my light? There we go. Okay. Eh, that didn't make it less creepy. Aha, the elevator that I couldn't use before. Uh, I'd say probable. Probable um, enemy ambush. I'd say there's a probable enemy ambush up ahead. Alright, here we go. Onwards and upwards. Or downwards? Oh, downwards. That's just fantastic. Oh! Oh my! It looks like a children's coloring book down here. Holy crap, what the hell's going on here? Oh, we get a cutscene.
the copied city. Interesting. This is one of the more bizarre things I've seen in this game. Oh, and we got some good music too. Hey, your guess is as good as mine. It kind of looks like it was 3D printed, but why? For what reason? For what purpose? Is this the aliens doing? Oh, hello. There are dead bodies down here. Hi. How are you doing? All right. We got no life signs here. That's a... Uh, that's a damn shame. I also didn't realize that the standard Yorha units aren't, they don't all just have white hair. I just sort of assumed they all had white hair, but I guess when you're on the bunker and you actually see them, it's the bunker's all in black and white, and I don't know why the bunker is only in black and white, but I guess there's like blondes and redheads and all that stuff. And I'm, oh, hello. Are you just a generic dead body that I can absorb? Okay, you are. But uh, see, we got, we got blondes and brunettes and all sorts of redheads and oh there's another white-haired person i honestly don't know what's this hold on there's you're not a yorha android are you you look different now you got a yorha symbol are you just a different breed of android what are these things they're like robots no they're like yorha robots or something this is all kinds of mildly disturbing and mildly disturbing is often more disturbing than just regular disturbing. When things are just disturbing, then you know what's going on. Like, there's no secrets. It's like, ah, oh, yes, this is disturbing. But if something's only mildly disturbing, you're like, why is it mildly disturbing? Do I need to go to the big tower? It kind of looks like a place I should be going. And here's a wide open area, and I got a boss fight coming up. And what's with the cubes? Hold on, I just noticed the cubes. Hmm, I don't trust it. Oh, well, lovely. The cube monster. Oh, hello. You're actually wearing clothes this time. You look quite dapper. I mean, 9S certainly did. I mean, good job, I guess. It's sort of like a, I don't know, 18th century European thing going on here. All right, well, that's a dodge. Hello. You're level 25? Hmm, I don't know if I'm ready for you. Dodge. Adam, you're not really doing much to me here. What's this attack? Hold on, I don't know this attack. Yikes. Ouch. Ouch. I'm gonna die. I am trying to read the subtitles, but also not die. Ouch! That is a bad thing. Hold on. Oh, cutscene. Why? Oh, I get it. So that he can't be backed up. Like, if you disconnect from the network, you can't back up your data and you actually die. And this looks like it's a problem. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now he's going to fight serious. Dodge. Haha, miss me. Ouch. No! Ouch! You're a meanie, and I don't like you. Alright, well, that's a problem. Ow! You should not be able to hit me from that distance. That is completely unfair. 
Aha, miss me. Yeah, I really don't. I have got other things to be doing, but also, I'm dying. What's so funny? Aha! The cutscene has saved me. You have a sick sense of enjoyment. No floating, that's cheating. I can't do that. Oh, look, it's 9S. Hmm, that seems like a problem. Getting kind of rapey up in here. This is turning very anime. Alright, stage three of the boss fight. All right, let's do this. Ouch, I'm losing. Dodge and slash some more. All right, so I think I'm starting to figure out the whole shield move thing. There is potential for doing damage here. And all right, I didn't do it right. Ouch, that's a problem. Oh, it's a problem. Ooh, pulled off combo. That's the first combo I've pulled off on him. Ouch. Nice. Oh, that's good stuff. Where'd you go? Ouch. And stab him. He's almost dead. Come on. We got this. Ouch. And final touch. Nice. I ended it with a combo. I'm assuming this is the end. I don't actually know. Let go of me. I don't know, is it? Did you actually disconnect yourself from the network? Ooh. Why do you have so much blood if you're an android? Are we finally done with you? I mean, your brother's still around, so that's a problem. But, like, are we done with you, specifically? Oh, hey, how'd you get down here? Neat. Hey, buddy. How's, uh, how's it going? Nice. So, uh, we're gonna get you a new body, and everything's gonna be okay, right? Aw. Nine S's knight in shining armor. Well, by shining armor, I mean short skirt and, like, Thigh high boots, but you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, I mean, he was basically crucified, so. I'm just doing my job, lady. I am not, this is just auto playing, by the way, so if the messages are going by too fast. I'm sorry, that just auto-played through the whole thing, but... Ho oh boy! Yo, what's up? Well, you're welcome. It was difficult. I mean, you'd think, but I'm guessing Eve manages the other half, and we haven't seen him in a while, so... Yay, more missions! Oh, uh, look. Now I've got the mail. Oh, and look, this access point is conveniently working. Everything is just a giant box of convenience, isn't it? 
trends among the machines. Due to the destruction of codename Adam, we have been able to deal a significant blow to the enemy's network system. I have already confirmed that numerous machine life forms have been severed from the network as a result. However, just because they are no longer connected doesn't mean that they no longer pose a threat. It is highly likely they will continue to interfere with, your, with our operations. So that's to let you know that even though story happened, you're still going to be fighting robots. 2B, I would like you to gather some intel on the machine life forms. Report back to me if you see any machines behaving oddly and keep me informed on their activities. That is all. I mean, you want be like oddly behaving machines. There's a town full of pacifists. There's a theme park full of robots. And what else? I mean, there's a lot of strange machines down here. It's just they're not all violent. <laughs> We're going to analyze how they die. Oh, more phone calls. They disconnected themselves from the network or they became disconnected from the network? Interesting. I smell a trap. Ah, so I have to go into the abandoned factory. I started heading that way and then just nothing, like I got distracted. I meant to explore the abandoned factory, but I never managed to get in there. All right. All right, so we managed to rescue 9S, which is as good a place as any for me to stop. So thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure that you also check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash realbasilisfang because I have been streaming quite a bit over there. So go ahead, head on over there. Give me a follow. See what I've been doing. I really appreciate it. That's for sure. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>